Sir, you to follow me. Let me pray for you. Say, fire prophet. Fire prophet. Prophesy. Prophesy. My God and my Father. Sir, firstborn. I'm the firstborn. You are the firstborn. Yes. First one, clap your hands for the Lord Jesus. Now, why I am saying firstborn is because I saw a star. And the star fell on the firstborn. And the Spirit of God said, the first person that has been born by his father, that first person, there is a curse placed on that person. Hallelujah. Amen. But as, you see, the Spirit of God said, as prophets, we see in half. And we also prophesy in half. And when you see and you are not very, very, very sure, that is when we ask for confirmation and for direction. It doesn't mean we have not what? Seen. It doesn't mean we have not seen. This man that is standing here is a police officer. In fact, a police paramilitary. And if I, if I should be lying to him, I know he will report me to the government that they are false prophets in our country. Because I know he works for the government. Amen. Let me tell you what I'm seeing. I am seeing you in the realm of the spirit in a wilderness. Ah, 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 ah. All of a sudden, the sea has opened. The sea has opened. And I saw a woman come out of the sea. And the woman stood on top of the sea. The woman is very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. The hair on the hair. The hair on the head of the woman. Very, very, very beautiful. Very, very, very shiny. And I see on the forehead of this woman, a small diamond that looks like a torchlight. A small diamond. On the forehead that looks like a touch a touch light. I saw this woman stretch forth his hand from the sea, even though you were standing on the land. I saw her stretch forth his hand and I saw her collecting wealth. Every good thing that comes into your hands, there is a covenant with a marine spirit. If you didn't know before, police officer, there is a covenant with a marine spirit. Mm. That covenant is between you and this marine woman. That says, you are my husband. Listen, I've never met your wife before. But I can tell you that if prayer is not offered, your marriage will break down. There will be so much confusion and so much misunderstanding and so much fighting that your marriage, you and your wife, you will go your separate ways. Why? Because there is a contention by this marine goddess who is claiming ownership for you to say, you are my husband. And that is why, even though you have gone to school and have graduated, that promotion you are waiting for would have never come. Because this spirit says, every good thing that comes into your hands, I have to get it. You are my husband. I have to get it. And if I am not afraid to say, you are one of the people who all of a sudden develop resentment for sex. For your wife or it will come from your wife mostly mostly because of the fact that you are in church and you are praying they will not have that liberty of penetrating through you working through you so much it will be the opposite sex all of a sudden she will manifest when you are in the mood you cannot have sex and if you are not grounded this is when you will begin to go out and look for that satisfaction and the moment the connection between you and god is broken through sin the one who has that right to fight your marriage, the spiritual wife, will now come and block all your blessings. This is how the devil operates. I am not surprised that all these years you have been in church, your wife has never followed you to church before. Your wife has never followed you to church before. There is a spiritual problem between the marine goddess and your marriage. And the spirit of God said, if prayer is not offered, even the children you have given birth to. Because I was coming there before the sea opened. And I saw this beautiful woman arise from the sea. The spirit of God said, if prayer is not open, you will lose all your children. I saw you in the wilderness. And in the wilderness, you were complaining to say, they said I should look for work. I have looked for work. They said I should marry. I have married. They said I should have children. I have had children. But I have lost all my children. Ha! Huh. But I have lost all my children. If prayer is not offered, for this curse to be broken. There is a marine spirit that is very powerful. This spirit will destroy everything God has given to you. 
Now, when I'm prophesying and you are standing there quietly like that, I don't know what, what I am seeing if you, you have also seen it to confirm it or not. So, police officer, flexible yourself a little bit. You are too serious. Flexible yourself a little bit. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire prophet. Fire prophet. Professor. Professor. Mr. Liver, the same battle you were fighting, which by the grace of God you got delivered from, this man is fighting the same battle. I am telling you without shadow of fear or doubt, there is a spirit from the marine that is married to this man. If he is not delivered, his life will be at a standstill. He will do everything to prosper and to propel, to be successful. But life will be like a tag of war if he is not delivered. But God will deliver him today. Amen. I said God will deliver him today. Amen. I said God will deliver him today. Amen. God will deliver him today. Uh, Mr. Police Officer, we need to close the service. Any confirmation about what I have said? Especially about the Marine. Yes, uh, for the Marine, for the, uh, sometimes I used to uh, dream for a, a, a woman. That a woman comes to you to have sex with you? Yes. You have, you, have, you have told somebody in this church before? No. You have discussed with, with, with me before? No. Eey. In fact, our first, uh, first child it took about almost seven years. The first one? Yes. Took almost about seven years? Yes. Before what happened? Before having a first child. Before yes. having a first child? Yes. You said, I have done everything. But here I am, I've lost everything. So in, in this picture or in this video that I am seeing, I saw you lose all the children. And I saw you, you and your wife, got separated. And it is all going to be the doing of one spirit called Marine Spirit. Marine Spirit. Now, this is not negotiational. If you are a member of this church, you will know that here, we don't do Kululu or Kalala. No, we don't do that here. Amen. Even if I already know about your problem. Yes. The moment I stand here and the spirit of God comes upon me and I pray for you about it. Yes. It is not because you have told me. Because there are many people who have told me their issues. And I could have been doing it every week. Amen. And that is why we have results yes. in this church. Amen. It's a police officer for God's sake. Police officer that enforces law and order in Zambia. You cannot have Kululu Kalala with him Amen. and deceive the people of Zambia. In the name of Christ. No, it, it is not done. Amen. It is not done. It is the same spirit you are delivered from. The same spirit is fighting this man. Yes. So it took seven years for him to have his first child. And now he has three. But even those three. Yes. They would have, he would have lost them if not for the grace. I'm saying if not for the grace because the grace will fight for him. Amen. The grace will fight for him. Zambia should treasure this grace. Amen. Zambia is blessed to have this grace. Amen. I'm telling you the gospel truth. I'm telling you the gospel truth. That is why your promotion has stuck, has been stuck. Your promotion has been stuck because spiritually, this marine spirit has sat on it. So every good thing that comes, even, even where you are working, if prayer is not offered, you will even end up losing the same job. Because that is the picture. Saying, they said I should work. I'm working. They said I should marry. But I've lost everything. So even the career is a danger. It's a danger. Now if you are not confident that you are not bold of what the Lord is revealing to you, the way police officer is standing so straight, <laughs> you, you will stop prophesying. Through or false, Mama Vira. You can even stop prophesying. You have to be a seasoned prophet. Amen. To believe that the voice you are hearing yes. is the voice of God. Amen. Listen, Elijah never read the Bible. Amen. Moses never read the Bible. Uh -huh. Elisha never read the Bible. Mm. They were hearing voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were doing what? Hearing voice. They were hearing a voice which somebody wrote down mm. for you and I to read and have a map we can follow. Hey. So if I say I hear a voice. Yes. You should know that the spirit of the old prophets, yes. which is the spirit of the almighty God, uh -huh. has visited his people. Amen. He rose from the sea. He had a light on, his, on her forehead. 
very beautiful with hair coming down to her waist. And he stretched, she stretched forth her hand. Say, every good thing that comes into your hand belongs to her. Yes. She must take it back from you. She must take it back from you. After today, yes. your deliverance will be certain. Amen. If you clap your hands, may your own deliverance be settled. May your own deliverance be settled. May your own deliverance be settled. In the name of Yeshua, every power from the marine kingdom that has a covenant with anyone here sitting on your destiny, your wealth, your health, your children, fruit of the womb, your prosperity, fighting your salvation, fighting your marriage, even fighting your innocent children, may fire settle the matter. 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 The, matter. the Spirit of God said, I need to do spiritual cleansing for you. Yes. Yes, I have to do spiritual cleansing for you because this woman that comes to have sex with you in the dream, anytime it happens, it leaves you dirty that chases away blessings. It leaves you dirty, dirty that chases you away. So I'm going to give you a direction that will cleanse you spiritually. And that is the first level of your deliverance. Amen. And that one is between you and me as your spiritual father amen and after that we go to the next level of deliverance because amen. you your deliverance will be a process because you are dirty we can pray for you by faith but even then the spirit of god will still have to periodically work on you work on you work on you uh, until he brings you to that point and that place where you are now ready to receive all the blessings of god amen other than that it will look like prophets are lying to you they will prophesy, this is what I see coming to you. Uh -huh. But you will never see it manifest. Uh -huh. Even the ones you have seen manifest, uh -huh. the enemy will take them away. Amen. As it is now, they have placed the spirit of anger in your wife. She will get angry unnecessarily. Yes, it's true. I don't know your wife. I've never met your wife before. If I'm lying, tell the congregation I'm lying. I've met your wife before. Not even a picture of your wife have I seen before. But there is a spirit of anger. When it comes, it is like a lion has manifested in the house. The children are in trouble. Even you yourself, you are in trouble. It is not her. It is a spirit to ensure that the marriage does not survive. Till you, you get fed up to say, I don't want anymore. Or she herself say, I don't want anymore. In fact, it is you keeping your wife. Other than that, by now, there would have been divorce. Yes, it's true. It is you keeping her. Oh, sir, speak louder. Yes, speak it's, louder. True. it's true. Speak louder. This man is just a good man. He is just a good man. Hallelujah. He is just a good man. But if not the fact that you have a good heart, this demonic attack on your marriage would have manifested long ago. Because how many times has she threatened to go her separate ways? It is you holding her and keeping her for the sake of your children. But you see, destinies can be amended destinies can be changed and whatever destiny the spirit of god is telling me as the firstborn son of your father yes. you will suffer and lose your blessings we can change that destiny in jesus name amen we can change that destiny amen. in jesus mighty name amen hallelujah amen so i'm going to put myself on the line amen and i'm going to do this for you you are going to obviously your feet is very big than my feet I wear 43. You wear what size? Uh, 44, 45. 44. I see 45, not 44. I see 45. So you, you scatter my shoe if I give you my shoe to wear. But at least I will find a bigger, a bigger suit I have worn before and give you a direction. You will sleep with it. You will sleep with it. Amen. And I will teach you the prayers to pray. Amen. I said destinies can be amended. Amen. Amended. Now, you will not understand this prophetic ministration unless I explain de in details for you. Amen. Before Esau was born, he was already disadvantaged by destiny to be a loser, to be a servant to his younger brother. 
he was already disadvantaged as the firstborn son of his father. But the guy persisted in prayer yes. to his spiritual father, who was his biological father. And the father also blessed him. He said, it will get to a point when you grow tired of being bitter. The yoke of a servant, your brother will place on you, will be lifted. Amen. Will be lifted. Hallelujah. Amen. It was not Jacob who looked for Esau. It was Esau who looked for Jacob. And the Bible said when he saw him, he cried and he kissed his brother. Bitterness was lifted. Amen. And the Bible said everything Jacob offered him, he returned it back to Jacob and told Jacob, he told his servant to go and tell Jacob that God has equally blessed him. Destinies can be amended. Amen. So as your father's firstborn, whatever curse which the book of Exodus spoke of, to say there will be a curse upon the first, second, third, to the fourth, you are excluded from this prophetic ministration. Amen. From today, I remove you from the curse. Uh, uh, uh. That is where the ministry of a prophet comes in. Amen. And God changed his mind. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And God all of a sudden changed his mind because Moses as an intercessor uh -huh. spoke to God. Uh -huh. mm. Lift up your hands. Sir, this is your ministration is so accurate and so powerful. Somebody here might assume to say, since you have been coming to church here, you have come to sit with the man of God one on one in his office and you have opened up to him about these things he is telling you. What do you have to say to such a person? Ah, he's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Just that is yes. enough. He said, "Is what? He has never opened up to me about what I have told him. Never, never. Our hands are lifted, congregation. Yes, our hands are lifted. We break the curse. We break the curse. We break the curse. The curse of instability. Yes, the curse." Of instability. The curse of instability will break it by fire. No parent deserves to bury their children. You will not suffer. And at the end of the day, bid farewell to your children in the cemetery. We stop that demonic attack that will take your children out of this earth. We block it by fire. 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 Hey, the spirit of God says, I should tell you to buy something and bless your father so your father can bless you and release you. Has there ever been a contention, a disagreement, a confusion? Recently, it was my brother. Recently, it was your brother. Yes. Um, so the spirit of God said, do what I have asked you to do. And Amen. let your father release you and bless you. Amen. Listen, listen. This is why they hate me. In the spirit realm. I fight people's family battles for them. Yes. They hate me so much that, unfortunately, they use the same people to fight me. So I can be discouraged in helping others. Amen. I have surrounded you with a flame of fire. Yes. Every demonic arrow that will be thrown your way from today. Yes. Back to the sender. Hey, man. Back to the sender. Hey, man. Back to the sender. Hey, man. I anoint you with this golden oil. The oil that will boil. The oil that boils. You will be a flame of fire. Not only a flame of fire. God said he will even open his eyes. Amen. You will be seeing things in his dreams. Amen. Like a prophet. Yes. Like a prophet. Amen. Like a prophet. God said he will open his eyes. But what I saw was the right eye. God, God has touched the eye with fire. Amen. The moment I pour the oil, the oil touch him. God has touched the right eye. Amen. God said, I will be revealing to him in his dreams. Amen. You'll be seeing mysteries, mysteries, mysteries. Amen. You are the kind of police officer, you have no charm on you. Uh -huh. But when a criminal is coming, uh -huh. the moment he gets to your post, uh -huh. you will know, you will search, and you will find what is hiding. Amen. Amen. Flame of fire. No demon can come and have sex with you again. Amen. No demon can come and molest you again. Amen. Spiritual marriage is a thing of the past. Amen. Heavenly Father, the agreement between this one yes. and that spirit wife 
the agreement is broken by the blood of Jesus. Amen. You have said in your word, affliction shall not repeat itself the second time. Amen. After this prayer, the affliction of spiritual marriage, yes. spiritual defilement, yes. that affliction is broken permanently. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I saw the angel of the Lord place a passport in your hand. It means your barrier is broken. Amen. Your barrier is broken. Amen. Your barrier is broken. Amen. That which has been sitting on your promotion yes. as an officer of the law mm. for over 10, 15 years, uh -huh. you have never received even one promotion. How many years, sir? 22 years. In, in fact, uh, last year in August, there is a promotion which came, but there is no uh, promotion later. They gave you promotion finally, but there's no promotion letter. Yes. As an officer of the law. Yes. And that's there's something it. holding it now. So how many years? 22. But why haven't you even mentioned it to me? Eh? Okay, sit down. Let me continue with my, my prayer. That spirit wife. Yes. That has been sitting. Yes. On your promotion for the past 22 years. Yes. This year makes it 23 years. I rebuke that spirit. Amen. 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 The years the caterpillars, mm. the canker worms, yes. and the palm worms have destroyed. Yes. He said, I, the Lord, I shall restore you. Amen. I give you restoration. Amen. Restoration for the past 23 years. Amen. I give you now. Amen. I give you now. Amen. I give you now. Amen. In the name of Yeshua. The son of the living God. Yeshu Uwa Sing it, sing it in the microphone. Sing it in the microphone. Hey, this church, when you lift English songs, it's a battle. It's okay, it's okay. You are killing the anointing, all of you. Instrumentalist, Mama Vira, Pastor Tyson, everybody. Hmm. If you like lesson, they will pick the rhythm just now. Let Yeshua visit you. The same God who has made life a spectacle. The same God who disarmed the principalities and powers in my foundation, my mother's family, my father's family, and made a public show of them by using me to his glory. May this Yeshua, whom I have seen, whom I have met, whom I am working for, may he reveal himself. May he reveal his glory. The ancient of this that visited me because I found favor, may he visit you. May he change your star. May he change your destiny. The destiny you came into this life with, yes. which has disadvantaged you yes. as the firstborn of your father, yes. may the Lord change the destiny. Amen. May the Lord change the destiny. May He make you the head, both physically and spiritually, Amen. of all your father's children. Amen. May you become a signpost yes. that people who knew you before will look at you and use you as a prayer topic. Amen. That God make me like this man. Yes. Mr. Lewis. Make me like Mr. Lewis. I change your destiny. Yes. I bless you with the heavens above. Yes. I bless you with this earth beneath. Yes. I bless you with the elements of the sea. Yes. I bless you with the element of the sun and the moon. Yes. I bless you with the element of the stars yes. of the universe. Yes. I bless you with every element in this life. Yes. When the wind blows, may it carry blessings for you. Amen. When the wind blows, may it carry blessings for you. Amen. From today, you will not see yourself in the toilet. You will not see yourself walking bare chested. Yes. Shame is at the past. Amen. In your name. Amen. Amen.